Hej. I wasn't always open to the idea of keeping snakes. I didn't even know they were legal. But snakes have always been one of my favorite creatures on the planet. And when I got exposed into reptile keeping, I made sure to do my research to understand their needs and to recognize if they are being properly taken care of. Here are a couple of things I learned about snake keeping. Number one, it's a lifetime commitment and requires a special kind of care. Just like any other pet, there's so much commitment and responsibility involved in taking care of these animals. Why? Because snakes can live even longer than your dogs. Snakes like pythons can live from 15 to almost 30 years old. That means you're gonna have to take care of them for the rest of your life. They're not accessories to make you look badass or cool. It's not something that you can just use as props in pictures. These are actual living, breathing things. Number two, Feeding it is different from your usual pet. With cats, dogs, and other pets, you can buy cat food or kibbles from the pet store or your local supplier. But snakes eat none of that. Snakes are carnivorous and eat lots of protein. So for my snakes, I feed them chicken, quail, rats, or mice. And while warm-blooded pets require daily feeding, snakes, being cold-blooded, only need to eat at least once or twice a week. And by the way, it has to be clean. You cannot feed sewer rats. Imagine how dirty those are. If you're a responsible keeper, you have to be committed to buying food, whether frozen or live. That is, if you're not planning to breed them food or feeders at home. Number three, snakes are one of the most misunderstood creatures. This is Nymeria. When she once escaped from her enclosure, I was afraid because I knew that majority of people would immediately kill it as a response to fear and because of the negative perception snakes have. But I genuinely, truly love my snakes so much that I now have the burden to show people how amazing they actually are and that they shouldn't be killed and deserve to live as much as any other animal. Number four, captive bred versus wild caught legal versus illegal. There's a legal way to keep snakes and that is from purchasing from reputable breeders with papers to make sure that your animal can be monitored by the DNR and also to make sure that your pin and also to make sure that your animal was not taken from the wild and was bred in captivity. Keeping and developing a love for these animals should give you such a curiosity to understand why these animals are being exploited in the illegal trade and why it's wrong to take them from the wild. And that should give you the burden to protect and conserve these animals even just through education. As a keeper, you can speak through experience and telling others how amazing these creatures are. I used to be against captive breeding because I always thought that it was just about keeping wild animals in a non-wild setting. But actually, captive breeding enables you to preserve their species in a controlled environment, making sure that they won't die from the threat of humans or any natural dangers that they could come across. Captive breeding enables people to preserve their species in a controlled environment without having to mess with their populations in the wild. And by captive bred individuals, we mean individuals who were born and in captivity and from captive bred parents as well. In a review paper led by exotic veterinarian Frank Pazmans, it was stated that captive breeding has made important contributions to both conservation efforts and to our understanding of the biology of many reptiles and amphibians. Species like corn snakes and ball pythons have been bred in captivity for so so many years that they've adapted to becoming more used to living in a captive setting, unlike their cousins in the wild. Sadly, many people still engage in the illegal wildlife trade by capturing wild animals and selling them. There are many reasons as to why you shouldn't purchase wild-caught animals, but I'll be saving that for another video. But I'll leave you at this. Snakes are really amazing creatures that are often misunderstood because people do not know enough about them. I am not encouraging anyone to become first-time snake owners, that's really not what this video is about. Because I know that not a lot of people are ready for it yet. But I just wanted to speak based on my experience and experience from other people as well about these creatures so that people can understand them because they really are very, very misunderstood, but they're also very, very beautiful and amazing beings. Snake keeping isn't for everyone. It really takes a lot of commitment and you have to really be sure that you're gonna be keeping this for the rest of its life. And it's really important to make sure that if ever you choose to buy a snake, that you get it from a legal breeder and not from the wild. Also, don't forget to use your voice to speak up for these creatures who cannot speak up for themselves. It's bad enough that in the wild, they're being killed for just basically being alive. But as snake keepers and even just as animal lovers, we become their voice and they need to be heard. So that's all for today and I will see you in my next video. Bye.
matungkot si Mali Siya ay nahanagahin ng mga ayos Siya nabibigyan ng enrichment program Sa pinakamasarap na trabaho sa buong mundo Sa nanakit ang trabaho kasama mo dito Kinaganda ko ni Cassio She is the Bengal Tiger of two months